That was Lord Coe talking earlier. We'll uh, be talking ourselves in a moment to the chairman of UK Athletics. But first, our reporter Colleen Harris has been to talk to fans and to competitors at yesterday's Diamond League meeting in Birmingham, the meeting where Mo Farah was the star attraction who didn't show. It's a sunny 18 degrees today in Birmingham and it's the household names of World Athletics that's drawn more than 10,000 fans 21 miles out from Birmingham city centre to Alexander Stadium. But it was the end of a difficult week for Mo Farah and he's pulled out. The news had yet to reach some. Oh, you didn't heard. You've just broken that to us. Oh, no. You went to find out. In the car on the way over, unfortunately, on the radio. But... Yeah, about an hour before we got here. Yeah. Despite doping allegations surrounding his coach, Alberto Salazar, this was a day most fans came to show their support. But the 32-year-old double Olympic champion says he's angry and his reputation unfairly tainted. He's looking for answers, he told the media, and so it seems are some of his fans. I think the easy thing would have been to come and race today and just carry on as normal. It'll be interesting to see um, the decision making going forward. That is he happy with the answer that he gets? He's had such a great career under that coach, um, some wonders for him. Would it be the right thing to actually turn his back on him? I expected it. I expected him to announce uh, yesterday in, during the press conference that he wouldn't come today. But um, it's fully understandable. Um, he would have just taken the focus off uh, the race itself, really. No doping allegations have been made against Mo Farah, but his no-show at the men's 1500 metres was a blow for organisers, hoping it wouldn't overshadow the Games. In a statement, he said he was emotionally and physically drained, and he'll return to the US to seek answers and get back into training. GB runner Andrew Vernon says he would have handled it differently. If, if it was me, I'd have probably tried to, you know, if I didn't want to race, I'd have still said something like, you know, I'll come down and I'll, I'll have an interview at the track and just say hi to everyone so rather than go home. But, um, yeah, I, I can understand why he didn't want to race. I, I really can. Would you be inclined to find a new coach? Um, I'd be thinking about it, yeah. Um, I would think about it. But, you know, you've got to be loyal as well sometimes in... Salazar's looked after him for the past five years and I, I wouldn't want to have to leave my coach just because uh, a story broke out. And now that story and allegations at the centre of it are subject to investigation by UK Athletics, which has promised a focused review of the performance management surrounding Mo. It's a potentially mighty storm for the mighty Mo, who secured Britain a double win at the London Olympics, a reputation he's keen to protect. It's just not right, something I worked so hard for, for everything I achieved, and then yet my name is just getting associated with Alberto, and obviously you guys are just saying, Mo, 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 this, Mo coach, and it's, it's, not, it's not right, it's not fair, and I, I'm angry at the situation. Well, so Mo Farah, that was Colleen Harris reporting from Birmingham. Ed Warner is the chairman of UK Athletics and is here. Good morning to you. Morning, Justin. Do you think he should have turned up yesterday, as one of those uh, one of his colleagues was saying? Well, I'd loved him to have turned up. Um, I understand the exhaustion 